Ajax must make it to the Champions League round of 16. A club of their size should be among the top 16 in the world. Especially considering the quality we've got in this team. We've got Oscar Brown who continues to score. We've got Frankie de Jong who is world class. David Neres as well. We've got Tadic, Ziyech. Players like this should be playing in the latter stages of the Champions League. So far, Oscar has been tearing it up in the Champions League. He scored goals against Juventus, against Galatasaray and even in the last episode, episode, he banged a long shot against Borussia Dortmund. Things have been going really well for him in this competition. But there's still one final game left and that is against Galatasaray, the final Champions League group stage game. As long as Ajax can get the win in this one, they'll be comfortably through to the round of 16 of this competition. But that's easier said than done. It's away from home in Turkey. And as I said, anything can happen in this competition. But there's a good possibility that might not happen. We're in a very tricky spot right now in the Champions League. Group B is basically the group of death. Have a look at this. Juventus in the top spot with 10 points. Ajax in second place with 8. And Borussia Dortmund in third with 7. Anything can happen in this Champions League group. We know that Frankie de Jong has had problems with his coach lately. And not being in the Champions League round of 16 could mean that he might be making a move to Barcelona and not just him, it could be Ziyech, it could be Tadic as well. So getting into that round of 16 is going to be crucial and that's what we're going to be aiming for in today's episode. Let's get it underway. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the My Player Career Mode series. And today's episode is absolutely massive. We've got Champions League drama, a massive game against PSV, one of our rivals in the round of 16 of the Orange Baker, and also quite a few Eredivisie games. The league as well is also in a very interesting spot with PSV and Ajax going at it. PSV are two points ahead of us, so things are really heating up in this series. So if you guys are enjoying this My Player career mode series a like would be absolutely brilliant let's smash out 1500 likes that would be absolutely brilliant and if you're watching my content for the very first time do subscribe for more fifa 19 content there were so many comments in the last episode about oscar brown's hairstyle people just didn't like it so you know what let's go back to the og hairstyle that we started off this my player career mode with and that is exactly what I've done so well. Season 1 Oscar Brown is back. We're having a really good season at the moment in terms of player growth as well as stats. I mean 78 rated already. The aim by the end of the season is to be at least 81 or 82 rated. I think that is a fair goal to have. 12 games so far, 9 goals and 4 assists is definitely impressive. And looking at Oscar's stats right now, he's got 3 stats in dark green. We need to get that more as well. I'm hoping to get dribbling, finishing, stats like shot power up into dark greens as well that is the plan here's a quick look at our player objectives before we move on with other stuff looking forward to you know scoring more goals with oscar hopefully touching the double figure mark in this episode and also there's a very good chance oscar might be winning the player of the month award as well he's been nominated so i'm hoping we can get that done maybe a few goals from outside the box would be helpful as i just said oscar brown has been nominated for the eredivisie player of the month award for the month of november of course and he did have a good month so I'm hoping that could get it done for him could be his first player of the month award in this competition as you know the title race is heating up in the Eredivisie we need to continue winning and this is how we're lining up in our next game once again Frankie de Jong playing out wide which makes absolutely no sense David Neres on the bench Oscar Brown starts up front Tadic plays as well a strong lineup let's go out there and win oh this could be a chance here Oscar gets the ball from Frankie de Jong still Oscar Brown Oscar goes for goal and that's a brilliant finish from Oscar Brown. That is the goal machine that he actually is. That was a ruthless finish there. Frankie de Jong, I guess it's working finally playing him down the left flank as he gets the assist for this goal. As Oscar Brown continues to score in the edit of his a solid finish, beats the keeper as well. Have a look at that. This is the new finesse shot trade coming into use that we put on Oscar Brown. I mean, it makes his finesse shots even better. And that's why that went in without any sort of problem. Nutmegging the keeper? Nah, not really a nutmeg, but still a solid goal. Oh no, we're seeing our opponents have a chance and that is off the crossbar. Onana was nowhere, but he then makes a brilliant save there and the ball is finally cleared away. Quality chance for our opponents there. They're going to feel a bit hard done by because 
That probably deserved the goal. Well, this is not good. Chance for AZ. And wow, that is off the crossbar or the post actually again. I mean, oh, there was another chance there for our opponents and they couldn't take it. This game's been crazy. We've had one chance that Oscar took. But apart from that, our opponents have been good. But they've been super unlucky. Oscar gets the ball. Oh, brilliantly nutmegs the keeper there. Now it's Ziek. Still Ziyech could go for the cross, finds Oscar Brown who shoots but it takes a big deflection. That was actually some solid build up play. Oh here we go on the attack now, Oscar controls it well. But he doesn't have the pace there to beat his man. Although Ziyech goes for goal and that is unbelievable there from Hakim Ziyech. But unfortunately it was just wide again. The quality of players we're playing along with, it's insane. I mean, look at how close he had got there. Well, 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 we've given our opponents a chance to get back into this game, but oh, Nana is an unbelievable goalkeeper. That's a beautiful save right there. Oh, this is not good. We've completely given away a chance to our opponents, but oh, Nana is just insane. I mean, how has he managed to save that? He was the man of the match for this game, man. The amount of saves he pulled off, unbelievable. He got us all three points in this one. Brilliant performance from Onana and somehow we get away with the win. Not Oscar's best of performances but he still scored the decisive goal in 8.1 match rating. He didn't really feel like he was fully fit in this game for some weird reason but he was still decisive. A bit of bad news guys is unfortunately Oscar wasn't able to win the player of the month award. That is genuinely frustrating. Our next game in the Eredivisie is against Ado away from home but we've got Galatasaray just three days later and we know this is the important game. Being in the Champions league round of 16 is a must so we're simming this one and it's a one-all draw we've been disappointing in the Eredivisie for the most part this season it's good to know that PSV have dropped points as well so we remain at two points behind them but our next game is an interesting one as we face Vitesse who are third in the Eredivisie for now focus is on the Champions League so as you know Frankie de Jong is extremely disappointed playing out wide he's a central midfielder he wants to dictate the tempo of the game by playing in midfield and not out wide. Frankie de Jong has a decent relationship with Oscar Brown. They occasionally chat and they hang out and it's it's pretty chill between the two of them. So Frankie just dropped us a message. Apparently he's very close to a move to Barcelona in this upcoming January transfer window which makes sense. This guy is top quality, one of the best midfielders in the world and of course Barcelona in real life signed him. Why wouldn't they want him in this series as well? Of course de Jong loves Ajax. He does not want to leave but the fact that he's being played out out of position hasn't really helped his cause and that is why he's considering a move so he's asking Oscar a bit of advice. This is what Oscar had to say. We've got a crucial Champions League game coming up against Galatasaray. For now the focus of the entire team should be in this game and not on a transfer move so Oscar was pretty firm in telling Frankie this and well Frankie did agree so he's not going to be talking about a potential move to Barcelona for now. He'll wait until the transfer window for now the entire team's focus is on Galatasaray. Here we go guys. We're going to find out if we'll be making the Champions League round of 16 in today's episode. It's Galatasaray we're facing. As long as we can get a win or even a draw to be fair because Juventus Dortmund could go either way. We should be safe for the Champions League's round of 16 and if Dortmund get the win against Juventus and we beat Galatasaray, we could be finishing first in the group. This is genuinely the group of death. Let's hope we can get the job done and get a spot in the round of 16. So here we go guys, one of our most important games of the season, the decider. The game that will decide whether we will be in the latter stages of the Champions League or not. Oscar Brown is starting up front, Frankie de Jong is on the left. He's not going to complain for now because the team is more important at this moment. Tadic and Cam Ziyech plays as well. Strong Ajax side. Let's go out there and get the job done. Free kick for us and we know Ziyech has got a good shot on him. Goes for goal and that's a decent attempt there from the Moroccan. Muslera though with a good save. Oscar turns brilliantly. Still Oscar goes down. That's got to be a free kick. It is a foul but just outside the box. A good first touch there from Oscar Brown. Ziek with a free kick and again a very similar position. Can he score this time? Too much power on it. The first half has come to an end against Galatasaray and it was a decent half I suppose. Nil nil though. We were the better team but again we struggled to create any sort of clear cut chances. 
And hopefully in the second half we can take our chance as well. It looks like Galatasaray are going to have the first chance of this half. Cross comes back in and thankfully they've missed. That was the best chance of this game and it fell to Galatasaray. We got really lucky there. We should be 1-0 down. Here goes Oscar. He wins the ball back in a good spot. Still Oscar Brown looks to bring it in. Beats his man brilliantly. Puts it back in. That's a brilliant chance and let's go guys. The goal has come. Oscar couldn't score so far in this game but he provides the assist. A brilliant run from Oscar. Oscar, and of course a brilliant cut back and then the finish was very very good beats Muslera and Ajax have taken the lead finally guys and it's a deserved goal I mean look at that for Oscar to beat his man there he won the ball back as well so showing defensive ability as well there the cutback was decent, the finish was great and we've got the advantage now. A win guarantees us a spot in the round of 16 and we're on course to do exactly that. Still De Jong out wide to Tagliafico, the cross could come back in, cross comes in to Oscar Brown with the header and that's brilliant from Oscar. The run, the movement and then the finish was even better. Tagliafico with a sensational assist and Oscar Brown scores one of Ajax's most important goals this season as we make it 2-0 against Galatasaray in Turkey away from home look at that for a cross the movement from Oscar and then the header oh just brilliant that is Oscar at his absolute best movement powerful finish header just brilliant we actually did it guys we've beaten Galatasaray in Turkey 2-0 a convincing performance Oscar got the job done a goal and an assist a sensational performance from the Englishman and he's helped Ajax secure a spot in the round of 16 of the Champions League. I genuinely can't wait to find out who we'll be facing. Definitely a match winning performance here from Oscar. Mardamac in this one 9.1 match rating, a goal and an assist two key passes as well. It really doesn't get better than this. I'm genuinely in disbelief. Juventus lost to Borussia Dortmund, which means we finished first in the group. How crazy is that? We should be getting comparatively an easier draw in the round of 16, which is just perfect. And Juventus just about edged in terms of head-to-head -head scoreline over Dortmund and finished second in the group. We finished over Ronaldo's Juventus. That is just an insane accomplishment. The draw for the Champions League round of 16 is yet to to be made but I'm genuinely hyped for it man can't wait to find out who we'll be facing for now let's focus on the Eredivisie also for that man of the match performance in the Champions League Oscar Brown gets himself a Champions League in form card that looks absolutely brilliant blue as well again well deserved so we've got Vitesse next in the Eredivisie and you guys know how tricky it is right now in the league with of course PSV being a couple of points ahead of us Vitesse are just a couple of points behind us in third so victory here is crucial and that's why we've gone with a pretty strong team. Neres does start this game on the right. De Jong still plays on the left. Brown up front. Tadic starts as well. A strong and a decent Ajax side but we've got to win this game. Let's go out there and continue Oscar's scoring record. Neres finds Oscar really well. Oscar back to Neres and we know how quick the Brazilian is. Here he goes pushing forward. Finds Oscar Brown who goes for goal and that's a beautiful goal from Oscar. A lethal strike. That was somewhat of a knuckleball finish I suppose. And that's exactly why I feel David Neres should be starting on the left side ahead of Frankie De Jong with De Jong playing in midfield. But for some reason, the coach thinks otherwise. Great link-up play between the Brazilian and the Englishman. And look at that for a finish from Oscar. And that is now his fourth consecutive game in which he scored. One more game and we'll be done with one of the objectives. Oscar. Oh, beats his man there with the La Croqueta. Still Oscar Brown pushing forward. Goes for the finish shot. Times it well. But the keeper had it covered. Oscar Brown moving forward, finds Frankie de Jong brilliantly. Frankie de Jong scores. Oscar gets the assist for that. Well, looks like ultimately Ten Hag was right with the decision of playing Frankie down the left because, well, it's working. It is somehow actually working as Frankie de Jong is scored and assisted in today's episode. Again, a really good week for finish. Oscar Brown involved once again with a beautiful pass. And then bang, in an important game against the third place side in the Eredivisie, we're leading 2-0 comfortably. Oh, Oscar wins the ball back there easily and here he goes now with pace as well. Oscar on the attack, brings it inside, still Oscar Brown, goes for goal with his left foot, goes for goal on the volley and he's missed. He probably should have gone for the pass but... It's a 2-0 scoreline for us. We're in a good spot, so he kind of got a bit greedy there. He really should have scored regardless. Oh, this is looking nice. Oscar Brown. 
Goes for the finesse shot and that's somehow gone in. What? With his weak foot as well, Oscar Brown somehow gets it past the keeper. And that is his second goal of the game. He's just on an unbelievable run of form right now. Everything he's doing is just working out. I mean, look at that. How did that go in? I think it took a slight deflection or something, but left foot, goal, well, I'll take it. Oh, Oscar gets the ball in a good spot again. Still Oscar. Oh, goes down inside the box and it's going to be a penalty for us. 3-0 up already and we've got a chance to make it 4-0. I wish if Oscar could get the chance to take this penalty. On a hat-trick and still it's going to be Tadic taking the penalty. I wish there was some way Oscar would get a chance to take this pen. Anyways, it's Tadic who goes for goal. He ain't making no mistake as Ajax make it 4-0. Solid penalty there from the Serb. Full time against Vitesse as we've beaten the third place team in the Eredivisie with ease 4-0 a convincing result. Good to see that we've managed to get our form back on track in the Dutch league. Another masterclass from Oscar Brown in the Eredivisie. A 9.4 match rating, two goals, an assist as well, one key pass, one key dribble, the complete performance from the forward. Oh my god guys, the draw for the Champions League round of 16 has been made and it's now time to find out who we'll be facing. And it's Olympique Lyon in the round of 16 and you know what, I'm okay with it. I think we can take them on and I think we are favourites for the tie. Real Madrid, Chelsea, Spurs, PSG, Juve, Valencia, City, Inter. My former team Real Betis have also made it to the round of 16. Benfica, Barcelona and Atletico Madrid and Manchester United going at it. So these are the round of 16 teams. I'm happy with Lyon. Hopefully we've got enough in the tank to get past them. But for now, we don't really have to think about it because the Eredivisie is now our only focus. Champions League begins in February once again. PSV versus Ajax. This time in the Orange Baker or the Dutch Cup. A competition I would love to win this season with of course Ajax so it's an important game for me and I can't wait to deliver but well the coach has other plans there's another dubious decision from him Oscar Brown with the form that he's in should be playing games like this why on earth is he benched we know he's fully fit for this because he's got the new second win trait this makes no sense. So first the coach managed to piss off De Jong and once now things were good between the two of them, well it looks like Ten Hag gets pissed off Oscar Brown. So Brown has just dropped the coach a message asking him what the hell is going on? Why isn't Oscar involved in this game? Why isn't he starting this one against PSV? Ten Hag says that the season is long and Oscar should be preserved for the remaining games. It makes no sense. I mean, there's winter break as well coming up soon so Oscar should be fine. This is a game Oscar should be playing. Oscar's disappointed with his decision and well looks like Ten Hag and Oscar Brown's relationship at the moment isn't all that great. I'm still hoping my team can get the job done and we can get past PSV but it's not looking likely as it's a game away from home and there you go the decision has backfired as PSV have knocked us out from the Orange Baker. And there you go, we're not going to be winning the cup this season because of a stupid decision from Ten Hag. So we've been knocked out from the cup and now the Eredivisie and the Champions League is what remains. We've got our next game now against Groningen, it's the last game before winter break. We're going to be playing this game and hopefully we can get a result. So we're keeping it to three games in this episode, so we're going to be simming this one and getting it out of the way and thankfully we get ourselves a 1-0 win. So we end off today's episode being just a couple of points off PSV in the league in a good position, but I'm hoping we can do better in the next one and move towards that top spot. So we end off the episode with Oscar Brown becoming a 79 rated player. We continue to grow every episode which is awesome to see. I mean look at some of his stats going up. It's, it's great to see and we need to keep it going. The January transfer window is open so next episode expect a ton of rumours because well you guys already know there's a bit of beef going on between Ten Hag and Oscar Brown so well we don't know what's going to happen in the next one. But that's it for today's episode, guys. Champions League, we're through to the round of 16. In the league, we continue to fight. In the cup, we've been knocked out, but that's how life is. This episode was a mixed bag in terms of player upgrades as we, well, got knocked out from the Orange Baker and basically we failed the double challenge. Although, if Oscar scores in his next game, we would have completed the consistency's key challenge. So, hopefully next episode, we can get that done. We're on track to complete the Born to Score challenge as well. Oscar is the top scorer in the Champions League at the moment and he's now on two goals from distance. But that's it guys for today's episode. Really hope you guys are enjoying this My Player Career Mode series and if you guys are, make sure to smash that like button. That would be greatly appreciated. If you're watching my content for the very first time, make sure to subscribe for more FIFA 19 content and I'll catch you guys next time.